Okay, again, outside zone to a tight end. Um, all right, now, uh, so with, with this, we have a, our outside receiver is coming in to crack. And so there is a uh, there's a crack block, and, and I'll, I'll say this: you know, at Ole Miss, we had a um, we were a 100 RPOs, 100. But I do think there's something to bunch blitz and making a receiver in team run coming in to crack safeties. And again, I I've been on both sides of it now. We had DK Metcalf and AJ Brown out there running fades based on the safety. And I think that's good too. But I think for the toughness of your football team and the toughness of your defense, having a – this is at the end of the game and we're running the ball. Um, and, and I think it's very, very important. And I think we did it in the fourth quarter against Alabama. Hey, we're going to run the ball. And our receivers are going to come block you and we're going to push crack you. Um, I, think, I think, you know, for the RPO guys out there, uh, and I, I'm one of them, and I'm a believer in it, I think there's something to this. And, uh, and I really – because I think most of the time, RPO, you're doing it by advantage. My, my X is better than their corner, and you can still do that. But I do think by this receiver coming in and push cracking and getting two for one, I think that's huge. So I just, I just wanted to make sure I said that because uh, I do believe that. All right, now we got the mint front again, zero nose, two four eyes running outside zone to a tight end. What, what I would recommend here, especially if your tight ends are similar, these overhangs, they're usually not the same. There's usually one of them you can pick on. So just make sure when you're game planning in, 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 the, in the front, you know, we're in a balanced formation for a reason. So make sure you pick on the, the, the guy you feel like you have the, uh, the advantage. And there may be, they may always play him to the boundary. They may be always play him to the field. However, you want to look at it and game plan it, but make sure you pick on the outside backer you think you can handle the, the easiest. So, again, we have a double here, all right? We have a double here. We have an A back, all right? Left tackle's cutting out the four-eye back to the uh, wheel backer. All right? Now, this was a speed break play that we used, and it was tackle over. We also used this in the orange bowl as well. But we got tackle over. And again, this was this was a one word play that we used, and uh, I think we called it twice last year with two touchdowns. Probably should have called it. More. But but again, that was a speed break huddle. We went single, triple. Good job by the uh, right tackle getting up to the safety and finishing in the end zone. Well done. Just one coaching point: when we did put the tight end, we put them on a little flat route just to hold that number zero, the backside safety. Um, we were locking this left guard at, right here. So the, the, the guard, our left guard here was locking the down lineman. Uh, and we went single, triple. That might have 